Grégory Girardeau and his friends want to give their neighbors a wake-up call at the marketplace in the village of Ville Parisi, 20 kilometers from Paris. They want people here to know that they may have been exposed to high levels of radiation for decades, ever since the French army conducted nuclear tests in the area in the 1950s. Tumors have been diagnosed which are completely abnormal and there's no reliable explanation for them. We must do something. And most of all, we must get the Defense Department to finally reveal what happened here 50 years ago. The possible threat comes from here, Fort de Vaujour, a military facility that covers 45 square kilometers. Starting in 1955, France's Atomic Energy Commission began experimenting with enriching uranium and developing detonators for atomic bombs on the site. Grégory Juradeau was a local politician for many years. He spent much of his childhood here. While playing soccer matches, he remembers often hearing muffled explosions. We all wondered whether something dangerous had happened. But as I remember, many people's initial response was they can't be doing anything dangerous because we're just 20 kilometers away from Paris. But perhaps residents didn't know the truth. Recently, it's come to light that not everything was under control. Last summer, sacks filled with radioactive waste were found at the site. They were discovered by workers from Placo Plâtre, a firm which makes construction materials. It had bought the property to mine for gypsum. Now Placo Plâtre has been instructed to simply decontaminate the site without knowing exactly what took place here. The nuclear tests conducted here are still considered to be military secrets. A company spokesman says they're proceeding cautiously. At a site like this, which is just Earth, it's easy to spot these objects which are atypical and don't belong here. We pass this info on to a specialist right away and he takes care of the decontamination. But Jurado and his fellow activists call that procedure irresponsible. They've sought help from the Commission for Independent Research and Information on Radioactivity, a French NGO. Nuclear physicist Bruno Chareron shows us, for instance, how one side of a tile poses no danger, while the other side is highly radioactive. He says the same applies to the ground at the nuclear site. To decontaminate a site like this, you have to go over every surface with a fine tooth comb. And as soon as you start removing the earth, you must keep taking measurements. Because as soon as it's a few centimeters underground, this uranium is no longer detectable, even with high-performance Geiger counters. Despite the risk of being exposed to radiation, Placo Plâtre is letting its workers continue digging. In the process, soil contaminated with radiation could be mixed with uncontaminated earth. France's nuclear safety authority has imposed legal requirements, yet stringent controls to ensure their implementation are lacking. The firm Placo Plâtre is primarily responsible for ensuring protection against radiation on its site. We can't post a guard at the site's exit to check every truck that leaves the premises. That's not our role. Grégory Joradeau says it's a scandal. He's convinced that the French state just wants to rid itself of the possibly radioactive soil. As you might imagine, there's collusion between the state and the construction materials maker. On one hand, it's in the French state's interest for us to forget everything as quickly as possible so we won't keep asking questions. And on the other, the site's buyer, Placopatre Saint-Gobain, wants to get its hands on the gypsum under the ground as quickly as possible. Grégory Jorado plans to keep on fighting until the full story of the nuclear testing is unearthed. But by then, it could be too late to do much about it.